Hey friends, this is not Jordan. My name is Ray, one of the two artists at Owen Co. Games. I work alongside Noah. Hello, this is Noah. And together we are building the visual world of Tethergeist. We're also in charge of narrative design, which you can learn a bit about in devlog number one. We'll talk more about story in future devlogs, but for now, let's talk about art. Well, playtesting the game, our friends often ask us, how much of this was done by Noah? Or what did you work on, Ray? The short answer is, we work as a team. Pretty much every asset in-game was affected by both of us, so the line between what Noah does and what I do can get blurry. More on that in a moment, but there are a few places where we can draw the line. Noah is fully responsible for all the animation, both pixel and 2D, in the game. Unless it's procedural animation. That's Jordan's purview. I am in charge of visual research, color direction, and now narrating this series of art devlogs, which means this is probably the last you'll hear from Noah on this channel. Bye guys, thanks for following our game. Bye honey. Did I mention that we're married? Anyway. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what our design process looks like. I'll use May's house as an example. Step one is concept. All assets start with a rough sketch or design. In the case of May's house, we needed to take the old concept and update it to fit our new design style. So Noah drew this. Step two is refine the concept. We pass the concept between the two of us to make the concept look better. I felt that the new sketch lost some of the coziness of the original design, so I made adjustments to Noah's sketch to make it feel cozier and lived in. Step three, pixelate. Once we're happy with the concept, we'll design it in pixel form. Noah took my refined sketch and painted over it in pixels. Step four, detail. After the pixelated bones, so to speak, are in place, we add details to make it come to life. Noah topped the shelves and tables with dinnerware and herbs. I added wall hangings, draperies, flowers, paint, and wear. Noah decided an entryway leading to the exit would improve the player's experience, so he added an offshoot and filled it with furniture. We passed the design off between the two of us multiple times, each time building off of each other's additions. Step five is atmosphere. Once all the assets are in place, we add gradients, shadows, and highlights to build the right feel for the space. This process finishes after we've plugged in the art into Game Maker, so Jordan can add some particles and other things. The end result was a satisfying improvement on the old design, while still maintaining that cozy feeling we always liked about this space from the beginning. So basically, to sum up our art process, Noah and I pass the assets off between the two of us like a hot potato until they look right. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. To see more about our art process and to learn more about what informs our ideas, keep an eye out for our future art devlogs. Our ultimate goal is that Tethergeist will be as beautiful as it is fun. We're so proud of this game and are grateful to you for checking it out. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to join our community or even playtest Tethergeist, hop on over to our Discord channel where you'll find everything you'll need. And be sure to wishlist Tethergeist on Steam. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.